Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is episode 121. So, today's episode, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to get those pesty little warning errors when you either rebuild your operating system or reinstall your operating system and you're basically getting certain things not to work properly when you go inside your device manager you go into other devices and other devices is filled with all these nonsense you're basically trying to find where these drivers and finding this and this and that it's crazy believe it or not there is a, a, a sweet way that I'm going to show you guys now this right here won't work on a virtual machine because virtual machines is kind of weird uh, mostly for virtual machines and you're missing drivers you just have to install the tools that uh, either VMware tools parallel tools or fusion tools and that will fix the problems so if you right click on one of them and you go to properties and then you go to details and right on the drop down you want to go to hardware IDs now Hardware IDs, it gives you all this gibberish. Got it? Now, if you look closely, you see VIN and dev. Now, VIN is the vendor number, 18B8. And the DEV is actually the device ID of the device. Now, believe it or not, there is a website that you can actually search this information, which is at www. PCIDatabase.com. I will put this link on the description so you guys could check that out. Do not worry about that, guys. So what you do, you get the vendor ID, get the vendor ID 1A B8, and then uh, put the device ID, which is 4,000 for me, and you hit a search. When you hit a search, you get a good a number, a good amount of number of drivers that you can actually click on and download and install to recover your machine back to its place now if you have like a Dell machine Dell you can actually go to the site download all the updates and push it out all that you know push it in one shot but if you have one of those quirky little machines like a Sony or ASAR and you reformat it and reinstall the operating system and you're getting all these devices most likely those sites I know like Toshiba is crazy with it their uh, management with the device drivers uh, ASAR is another one. It's really crazy. Guys, should go in here, get a list. Begin. I'm running a virtual machine, so the vendor ID and the device ID is really weird. But most likely, uh, the device ID should should be here, and the vendor ID should match. Again, I'm running a virtual machine, so that's why I'm not getting an exact uh, device driver to install. I just need to install my tools, my parallel tools, to get it up and running. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video on, on how to get drivers for un, unowned devices or base system devices on your machine. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, please give, them, uh, give me some thumbs ups. I do enjoy those thumbs ups as well as leave comments below. I, I do like to get the feedback. And at the very top, there is a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And don't forget about gaming. I'll catch you guys later, and thank you so much.